is the Rota Palitska and I will show you a short demo how to paint some flowers using the one stroke technique. Uh, I'm going to work on the new perfect acrylic paints. They got really nice consistency and they're so highly pigmented that quite often the one coat is uh, enough. First of all, I'm going to water my paint to create some light background. As you can see, I'm painting almost with the water, which is just lightly colored with the paint. So once I'm happy with my background, I'm going to let it dry. We need to remember that when we painting with the acrylic paints, we have to make sure that the first layer of the paint is dry before we uh, doing any more work. So on a piece of foil, because I like to mix, mix my paints on a foil, I'm going to squeeze in two colors that will be like ivory white. The reason for using the ivory white is to um, give a more contrast when I will be outlining later on the flowers. And I will be working with the red acrylic paint as well. Our next step is to mix the paint. So I am make sure I've got half to half on my brushes of the lighter color and the darker color. You have to make sure you pick up enough paint to be able to create some designs. Don't be scared and don't remove all paint when you're mixing uh, the colors. I have to wait for my design to dry a little bit more. And then once it is ready, I'm going to start to paint the first uh, petals of the flowers. I'm going to paint some rows. And first of all, I'm starting with the um, red and black. Just painting like a wee dot in the middle. Wait for it till it's dry and then I will start creating another petals. In the meantime, I'll clean my brush and I will do some small leaves and uh, flower buds on the top of the design. So make sure you pick up a paint and you've got enough on your brush. The background is dry so I can start painting the middle of the rose. And then the petals which are outside. As you can see, I'm pressing the paint quite hard, so it's nicely blended in. I'm picking up more paint to finish off my bat. And I'm starting white touching white, red touch the reds, and then I'm working down. Now I'm adding extra petals 
in my rows. And one more on the top. Don't overdo it because we don't want the cabbage look. One more rose bud. There are some places where I work mainly with the tip of my brush only and that's the places where I want to have more white than the red. Once I'm happy with the background for my flower I'm going to pick up the green paint and still using the same um, ivory white I'm going to do some leaves I'm using the baby wipes to clean my brush just because it gives me a perfect consistency of the paint the brush is not too wet but it's also not too dry sometimes when we clean the brush with the water and we don't dry out the water the, the paint becomes too watery and then we don't get as nice coverage So now I'm going to paint some leaves. And then using the white very watery paint I'm going to add the detail into my design this is going to change the most so very watery paint remember when we want to work uh, with the fine lines we need to make sure that the paint is very watery and we roll the brush to get a really nice point so stabilize your hand so it doesn't get shaky and then work with the detail. You don't want to outline all places because that will look pretty fake. You just want to highlight some petals. And you can see how much it's changed the look. I'm also creating almost new petals
You can see how much the design changed after adding all this white detail. Going to squeeze one more petal there. And as you can see, some places are thicker and some places are very, very thin. I'm going to work with the buds, make sure they look like roses, and then finish off the leaves. We can also add the low light and to do so we're using a black acrylic paint which is mixed with the white, very watery and then dry out the brush to add a tiny bit of the shadow. See I have no paint almost on my brush but that's all what I need to drop a small shadow. Try to do it in one direction as well. And then once you're happy with the details, you can apply the top coat. So that's our design finish and once you're happy with it you can apply the top coat and cure it. Thank you for watching, hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did so please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.